Welcome to Splash Bar Express, where every hour is happy hour, baby. Make sure to like this video and leave a comment as well. Also, you can follow on other social media platforms like Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram at Splash Bar Express. Let me know what your favorite recipe is. And if you got any drink requests, drop that in the comments too and let me know what you'd like to see. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Smash Bar Express. It's your girl, Ash Cash, and I am back with another video for y'all today. So, as y'all can see by the title of that video, I am going to be doing a pineapple. Ooh, this is my pineapple cookie. Wow. I should have tested that out in the store. But, y'all, I'm going to be doing a pineapple margarita bowl. Um, <clears throat> or, I'm just going to be doing like a pineapple fruit margarita. So we're going to be putting some fruit inside this pineapple. We're going to put some margarita over top of it, y'all. This is my first time trying this, so let's just hope that it is delicious and good. Sound good. Sound good. But this is something, actually, y'all can do for the spring. Y'all can do for the summer. Whenever y'all want to. So we're gonna get right into this recipe. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, hey girl. And make sure y'all smash that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up too. So let's get right into it. All right, so of course you're gonna need your pineapple, y'all. And get you a pineapple that don't lean like that because I should have tried that out in the store to see if it lean. You want one that kind of sits straight up. So hopefully I can get it to sit straight up. It's sitting right now, so we are gonna see. Okay, y'all. So, as y'all can see over here, y'all probably like, girl, why you got all that fruit? Okay, so, <laughs> I got different varieties of containers from Publix, y'all. They have the best and the most fresh fruit because it was it was different ones in here that I wanted. And then my slow self was like, um, I need some pineapples too. Not thinking that, okay, you finna cut the inside of the pineapple. You can just use that. So, yeah, whatever. So, I just got, I was trying to get some pineapples. So y'all, I got some pineapples and grapes. And you can use whatever fruit you want, whatever your favorite fruit is. I know some people are allergic to certain fruits. So whatever fruit that you love, you like, that you like to eat, you can do that. So I got pineapples and grapes. This container has watermelons, um, cantaloupes, uh, pineapples, grapes, and it looks like um, apples or that melon, the little green melon. I think it's the green melon. Um, strawberries and blueberries. More pineapples and grapes. Okay. And we got some blueberries and some sh more strawberries too. And I also got a peach over here too, y'all. And I already washed my peaches off and my kiwi. And then I got a lime too, y'all. We got the lime because this is a margarita, so we need the lime flavor to it. All right, so that's our fruit, y'all. And this is going to be tedious, y'all, because what I'm picking out for B. So, it's going to be tedious. Okay. So, y'all, I got the rosé margarita that I'm going to use. The Jose Cuero rosé margarita. I haven't tried this, so y'all already know that we are going to try this. I do got to get me a shot glass so we can try this. Um, if you want to use the Stella Rosa rosé, I have that also. So if you want to use that, you can use that for the wine lovers. If you want to put your wine inside of a pineapple with your fruit, I'm sure that will be just as good as a margarita. If you want to make your own margarita, you can make your own margarita too. If you want to buy a different flavor margarita, because you know 1800 got like five or six different flavors of already made margaritas, and they are good, you can do that, okay? So let me get my shot glass, y'all, and we're going to go ahead and taste this Jose Cuervo margarita so I can tell y'all how it tastes. Okay, y'all. So, let me put the pineapple over here. Okay, so I also brought out the Stella Rosa Rosé, y'all. We haven't tried this, so we can go ahead and taste this, too. So, I can let y'all know how it tastes. Just in case you want to do the wine in your pineapple instead of the margarita. Mm. I don't remember trying this. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Mmm. That's good. That's good. Mm, 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 mm. That was so good. I like that, y'all. I gotta let that get cold. All right, so let's taste this rose. It got Grand Marnier in it. Um, Jose Cuervo tequila, triple set, and rose wine. 
Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's so good. Oh my god. I can taste the tequila in it too. Mmm. I'm gonna get that a 10, y'all. That's gonna be delicious in that pineapple. I can't wait. Alright, so <laughs> let me let y'all know too. I had this on chill, so it's kind of cool. So definitely, sorry for touching my hair, y'all. So definitely, if you want um to do the margarita, chill your margarita. All right, so we are gonna get started, y'all. We are gonna get this thing popping. I got a bowl too, y'all, so I'm gonna put all my fruit in the bowl. We gonna get to that, okay? So let's go ahead and do the um let's go ahead and do the hard part, which is kind of hard. So let's just hope I don't have to get no help, cause I normally get people to cut my pineapple for me, cause I don't even be feeling like going through the headache of cutting the pineapple. Let me get a bigger knife. Well, let's see. This should do. So let's see. Cut the top off. And try to find you, if you're gonna be drinking this by yourself, definitely try to find you a pineapple that's not super big. Publix typically have reasonable size pineapples. Walmart's pineapples be big. Okay. And I really don't want to mess this up, y'all. Let me see. So what, let me see. Let me see if I got it. Because normally I'll get my husband to do it or my sister will probably do it for me. Okay. And you want to try not to cut the sides. And I don't want to cut the sides out, so I'm going to actually get him to cut this and I'm going to be right back, okay? So I'm back. I got him to cut it. As y'all can see, this is the pineapple. Now, I do have a pineapple... Uh, ooh, ooh. I do have a pineapple core video. Um, on YouTube, I probably put the link in the description or to be at the top of, of the screen so you guys can see how to actually core pineapple if you do not know how to core a pineapple. Now, when you core it, um, I still got some juice left in mine and I'm gonna leave it in here just for if y'all can see that I'm gonna leave it in here for my drink purposes and for my margarita purposes. And don't cut so far down when you cut because you don't want it to leak out at the bottom. You want to leave just a little bit of pineapple down there at the bottom so it won't um, be leaking out. Okay, understand? All right, so let's go ahead and pop it off with our fruits. So we're going to do our blueberries and strawberries. And you still want to wash these off too. Mine's already washed. I just really hate the blueberries be having those little stems in it. Ugh, that be looking so nasty. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna just go ahead and fill up my bowl with some fruit. We are gonna throw in the blueberries first. And make sure they don't got the brown stem on it. Ooh. Okay, and let's go ahead and throw in those strawberries. See, Publix already had its fruit cut up and chopped up for y'all. And then I think it's cheaper to buy them like this because in a sense, depending on what you're getting, because otherwise you are going to definitely be getting all types. So I'm not gonna put a lot of blueberries in there, but you are gonna be um, purchasing like 50 different fruits. And I started to do that, but I was just like, no, these are already put together and cut up for me. So why would I do that? Okay, understand. All right, we're gonna put that to the side. We ain't gonna fight with that. All right, I'm gonna do fresh pineapples. I was gonna do the ones in there, but I'm gonna do my fresh ones, y'all, okay? And then I'm gonna just chop those up a little bit. Because these fresh ones are so good. Put you some pineapples cut up. Y'all let me know what's y'all favorite fruit. Right now, put it in the comments and tell me. Y'all know I love strawberry. As y'all can see, half of my drinks be strawberry drinks. All right, that's enough. Okay, let's go ahead and do our peach. And I'm just cutting them in like little squares. You can cut them however you want. But make sure it could fit inside of your pineapple though. And y'all can also, I will tell y'all in a second. Let me get this cut up right quick. 
then I'll let y'all okay we got some peaches in there and this should actually be enough for multiple people depending on how much fruit you cut up and get you several uh, pineapples too and you also can do this in a glass it does not have to be a pineapple so if you are definitely allergic to pineapple or you just don't like pineapple like that then just go ahead and get you a glass and do your fruit inside your glass Got our peaches. Now we need to, uh, not peaches, yeah, we got our peaches. Now let's get some grapes. Ooh. All right, let's get some grapes. We'll go ahead and throw those pineapples in too. I like how they cut those pineapples up. All right, so pineapples, grapes, grapes. Let's get some more grapes. Definitely love grapes. Mm-hmm. I think I need some more blueberries and strawberries just for that touch of color. So let's do some more blueberries and strawberries. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna put all those in there. Okay, y'all. Very much delicious. Okay. So I'm just gonna mix all of my fruit around. That is a big pineapple. Let me chop that one up. Okay, chop. Let me stir that around. Okay. That's a big strawberry. Jesus. Okay. All right, y'all. That looks so good. Like, you could sit there and eat this all day, right? It don't even have to eat nothing else. Okay, <clears throat> so, y'all, we are going to take our Jose Cuervo Margarita Rosé. And if you want to take your Stella Rosa Rosé, you can do that. But we're going to pour some of that over that fruit. And y'all, at this point, you can actually put this inside of your refrigerator and just let this fruit soak up that rose margarita. Ooh, that will be so good. But I'm not, for video purposes, I'm not letting mine sit. Some of this is gonna sit because I, all of this is not gonna fit inside of my pineapple. But, y'all, I need to taste this now, okay? So yeah, so we got that. All right, y'all, so next, we are gonna go ahead and grab our lime. I know y'all looking like, well, what's up with the lime? What we about to do with the lime? I got you. All right, so it's the margarita, y'all. So we need some lime juice. I'm gonna take this one, put that in half. Okay. Wow, not the lime being too big. Just spread it all around your fruit. Give you that little margarita tang. And also, if you want to add more tequila to yours, like a regular tequila, if you want to soak your fruit in that, you can do that. There's so many options you could do with this. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take our pineapple, y'all. Let's turn it up a notch. Okay, let's take our pineapple. Pick you up some fruit. Try not to get that big old strawberry. Put your fruit inside of your pineapple. All right, so let me get a little bit more. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour in some of this Jose Cuervo Margarita, y'all. 
okay and you can add it to your liking if you just want to put all your fruit in there after you don't let your fruit soak and you just want to do a shot of it then go ahead and do that all right i'm putting more fruit in mm, this smells so good if only y'all could smell this through the camera yes some kiwis in there some strawberries some pineapples some peaches grapes all the good stuff i'm trying to get the color on top so that i need like the kiwis and the blueberries on top to make it pop yes some blueberries up there i told y'all this was tedious as y'all can see okay Strawberry, you come down. All right, y'all. That's our margarita pineapple. Okay, so let me set this to the side. All right, y'all. So, let's see. Let's get us a slice of a lime. And if you want, if you want to add a little sugar around the top, add some sugar. Okay. Ooh. Y'all liking that? Okay. Okay. Let's take our... All right. Let's take our stick here. And I'm going to get some fresh grapes and pineapples to put on the stick. Let's see. And let's also, let's do a strawberry too. Y'all know we can't just leave a strawberry out like that. Can a blueberry fit on there? Let's see. The blueberries. Kiwi might be too soft. Yeah, kiwi too soft. Okay. So I think that's enough there. I'm gonna put a blueberry at the top. Right there. All right, y'all. And then we are gonna stick that to the side like that. And y'all last but not least, we got some Sprite. If you don't drink Sprite, if you don't like Sprite, you do not have to splash your top with Sprite. But I'm just splashing the top with Sprite just for a little tang. Just for a simple little tang. And then, oh, just a little more lime juice. Okay. Just so we can have that margarita vibe, that margarita feel. And where's my straw? All right, you guys, so that is your margarita pineapple, your fruit bowl, your pineapple fruit bowl margarita, your pineapple margarita fruit bowl, pineapple margarita fruit bowl. That's what we gonna call it, okay? So let's go ahead and taste it so I can tell y'all how it tastes. Mm-mm-mm. So pineapple came up in a straw and y'all i'm actually gonna let this sit in the refrigerator probably about 10 15 minutes because i want my fruit to get extra cold so it can be so delicious mm. delicious isn't it all right y'all let me know if y'all gonna try this or whatever y'all also let me know this look good because i think this look good y'all like this look good all right, y'all, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you are new here. And your girl is going to catch you in the next video.